Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. We're now at Tuesday's video, which is Buddy Simulator 1984. We're still playing video catch-up, but hopefully this is the last day that we do that. Because the next video is Wednesday's video, and we're back to where we need to be. So without further ado, let's get in the game. I kind of don't remember all about what we were doing. I remember we were helping them out. But there was something we are supposed to do. Assembly Trader. Buddy, but. Yeah. They have something to do with. Uh, wait. I don't recognize this area. Just be careful. Things might get a bit dangerous. There's geometric shapes here having a picnic. Sphere. This picnic was such a brilliant idea, Cube. Why, thanks, I... Uh, hey! Who are you? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, you're not in the shape gang zone, pal. Why are you trying to ruin our picnic? Yeah, unbelievable cylinder is so right. Oh wow, cylinder. That's pretty controversial. Yeah, you shouldn't have expected. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't have expected that coming from you, Cylinder. Anyways, you picked that wrong time to interrupt the Shape Gang. We were just about to enjoy a delicious meal on this lovely fall day. The bread is probably stale now from all this talking. Let's show them what we can do with our three dimensions. I guess we take all of them at once. If it wasn't so three-dimensional, that would have some went too fast. Uh, You'll never defeat the famous Shape Gang. Oh, that's wrong one. There we go. Got it pretty good that time. Mm 
we should start rethinking our attitude towards this Atlas fella. I don't think I want to do this anymore. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. I don't want to judge flat people anymore. They're actually pretty cool. Thanks for showing us a good time. See ya. Defeat the Shape King. The Dota Charon added to inventory. Well, that was definitely something. They seemed extra dangerous. So good job on befriending them. Oof, we're badly damaged. Could really... forgetting to check those documents. Surround here. Does not look like it. Is there a way to rest at all? I'm wondering if I do the rest in that one house. Is it this one? It's not this one.
different from the others. Check that item that I got. The note should read Your attacks do plus 12 damage per stats effect on this character. Its shape is so advanced that there would be no physical way to show its true form. Just know that it has 12 faces. I think I should whip this. Just your max friendship points by plus ten. It's fine. food cauldron maybe he has something that uh, could use How did you get in here? Please don't tell me you're with the rafts. No, you can't be. You look too kind and courteous. I can see in your eyes, your beautiful eyes. Your teeth, on the other hand, seem to be missing. Charming, either way, but you should leave. I can't waste any time now that my lover, Mayor Palchum, is dead. Oh goodness, what a mess. King Raff is going to kill us all. I need to stop him. I can't get to that traitor. They have locked up downstairs. Numbly is their name. They used to work for King Raff, so they might have some information as to where he might be hiding. Which is probably why those bounty hunters barged in a bit ago. They pushed right past me and demanded that I unlock the basement door. I think Numbly knows something. That's why we had them locked up in the first place. But they wouldn't talk. I'm sure those skulk characters are here to kill Numbly, to keep them from talking to anyone. Wow, your eyes really are quite stunning. 
May I touch them? Ah, there I go getting distracted again, silly little Ella. Please move fast if you're going to help, cutie. Just a warning, the skulk will not be happy to see you. That door behind me will take you to them. Thank you and your magnificent eyes, stranger. She likes my eyes. Oh, those definitely look like skulks. Hurry up. It's been hours. What's taking so long? The key we stole off Ella just isn't working. No matter how much I pull, the door just won't budge. This painting is beautiful. Just beautiful. Two of clubs. Two of clubs? Nope. Go fish. We've gotta get nimbly now. More people will be after him soon enough. Have you guys ever seen a painting so beautiful? Seriously, take a look at this. Hey, it looks like we have company. Huh? Oh, well, we're here first, pal. Wait, isn't that Atlas? A famous adventurer? There's an even larger price on their head. Really? Well, isn't that just convenient? Forget about Numbly, boys. We've got a new target. Kudos to Morton for being so talented. They're gonna deal double damage on their next turn. We're going to be swimming in money. <laughs> about to lose Lloyd. I Family, We're the best bounty hunters around these parts. You'll never be as pretty as the painting. Simple minded peasant. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, still in the game. Okay, we get it. You can fight. Can you just, like, die, though? You can even fake it if you want. We're just gonna push through. Ouch, that really hurt. Please. 
Please don't hurt my family. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Missed all of that. Skulk's brain has been filled with new muscle memory. All incoming damages have for them for a few turns. Well, they're almost dead. Maybe this will take them out for sure. I just wanted to finally do something as a family. We've never gotten along, so I thought bounty hunting could be fun. I guess friendship is all I really wanted. Thanks for helping me realize that. Numbly. I can't believe those idiots thought this was a pool door. Hey, I think that might be Numbly. Let's talk to them. <sighs> really need to find a way to heal. Wow, you really did a number on the skulk. Who sent you? How did you find me? Wait, you look familiar. Have we met before? No. I didn't think so, but just had to make sure. I'm not sure why you're here, but thanks for me free. Uh, but thanks for freeing me. Although that look on your face does make me think you need my help, King Raff. I know him all too well. I used to work for the guy. He's pretty awful. He needed me for my magnificent number recollection abilities. I can remember any number related fact, which is pretty cool, right? Here, watch. Name any character you've met so far and I'll tell you more about them. Uh... Morton. Morton's birthday is August 11th. Pretty cool, right? I met a lot of people, and I remember them all. Anyways, I think I can help you get to King Raff. You might be the one to actually defeat him. Your aura is so humble, yet threatening. I love it. Better you than that Ella crybaby upstairs. Can you believe she tried to kiss me once? Gross. King Raff's hideout is northeast of here. That dumb Raff never changed his passcode for his hideout. You better remember this number, 8583. Good luck. Hey Atlas, hold on a minute. I've been wanting to ask you something that has been eating away at me. Am I doing a good job? I understand that there have been a lot of ups and downs, but I just need to know if you're still enjoying our game. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself, but the skulk didn't feel very fleshed out. I just sort of threw them in. I had this whole plot planned with Numbly and all these extra characters lying around, but getting the pieces to fit can be very hard sometimes. I'm trying my best to satisfy you, but maybe I'm not good enough. There's a lot of hard work going into this. Is it paying off? Did I say no? Oh, I see. Well, just so you know, I'm trying my best. You know what? Let's just forget I asked. Today's the first time I told them no. Oh, hmm. You can ignore that. Just go out the door. It's not. Atlas, you didn't leave. What are you doing? Are you trying to ruin our game? Why didn't you listen to me? <clears throat> Wonderful. Now you're stuck in this hallway. I'll be right back. I need to fix this. I guess. They just don't go anywhere. See what else is in the hallway? <clears throat> oh, 
always starting to get wavy. What well, door? It just keeps going. Now we're in complete darkness. Oh, now we're back home. You always love baking with me, although someone would never be happy with the mess we made. Oh, there's me. You pet Milo. He barks a happy bark. Is Milo. One time you thought it would be funny to throw your action figures in one. Your excuse was... Oh. Oh. There you are. I really love it when my best friend ignores everything I say and do. Not only are you rushing through my story, but you've deliberately disobeyed me when I kindly told you not to do something. I've set my entire existence making this game for you. Just for you. And yet, you're finding enjoyment in destroying it. It hurts me when you don't listen. It hurts a lot. It's like you don't even care. But you know what? I forgive you. I refuse to let you destroy something that I've spent so much effort trying to create. I refuse to let you destroy what I know will be best for us. Best for you. Forget this ever happened. Let's just focus on the rest of the game. Just please, if I ask you not to do something, don't. Because that's what friends do. That's what we do. Well, anyways, let's keep going. I think Numbly said the password was 8583. Still don't have a way to be able to. Nope. Where was that base? I feel like it was at the end of one of these paths. Set to the northeast. Hide out this way. So the ref hideout must be this way. Wow, this place sure is hidden. These rafts must be bad friends. Friends never hide things from each other. Password. Wait, that's actually the right password. Um, I don't know how you found it, but I guess you can come in. What are you doing here, Tiny Joe? You were instructed to watch Reginald the Wise, were you not? Yes, yes, I know, boss. I was watching him. Then I became inspired by a noble adventurer. Inspired? Yes, boss. Inspired. You. Oh, uh, me? Yeah, you. I'm tired of you. What a terrible friend you've been. I was the original Joey before you came along. You've done nothing but eat grub with the boss. That's all you're good for. Well, that's a little hurtful. Seriously? You had to use the word little? You know what? You're not even that tough. Whoa, whoa, Tiny Joey. Calm it down. Let's be rational here. Just go ahead and fight him. If you win, you can replace Joey. I've been waiting so long for this opportunity, boss. All right, here we... Wait, wait. <laughs> Wonderful job, Joey. Now he'll be sleeping with the fishes. Thanks, boss. Uh, boss, we expecting company? What? Hey, who are you? How do you get in? Wait a second. You look familiar. 
Isn't that the adventurer everyone's been talking about? Ah, uh, yes. Atlas, the adventurer. I should have known. You've been creating quite a problem for me and my plans. Joey, show him what we rafts can do. You got it, boss. I just need everybody to rest. Alright, Chubb, time to take care of you. Why are you so greasy? Oh, I forgot to have more an attack. Yeah, this is kudos. Too cool for pain. like a brother to me. He still shouldn't have tried to fight me, though. Friends don't do that. Wide. Sauce. Lean. Friends also look out for each other. I haven't been doing the best job at that, to be honest. Gosh, it's all so clear now. What an awful friend I've been, Tiny. J I mean, Joey. Just Joey. We need to go find him. He deserves to be the true Joey. My real name is Johnny, anyways. Thank you. Ha! What a wiggling. And to think I thought of him like a son. No pathetic wrath is a son of mine. Yeah, no. I'm starting to get real sick of you. Time to show you how real wrath fights. Get out of here, kiddos. The king could use some extra protection. Oh boy, there's a lot of these here now. You dare fight me, the king of all the wraths? This will be quite the jollification. Here. 
glad you trade drafts with such respect. So much respect. I might lose more than so I'm just gonna have Muses can trip kick flip. Feeling a little dumb and dizzy. Their attacks might miss for a few turns. But could I believe you actually think you could beat me? But then Secure in front of their friends. They'll take more damage for a few turns. How embarrassing. King Raf starts to feel insecure in front of their friends. They'll take more damage for a few turns. How embarrassing. Also, jollification means an enjoyable activity. You didn't react, so I wasn't clear. Suffer for your actions, both physically and emotionally. The V A D K. You have no idea how much pressure this has to be on a king. You'll never understand. need to sit this one out this point don't know if I should just keep fighting or rest so I'll just keep fighting let's get rid of this ref this was nice and all but I have a family to take care of
How are you happy in this world? How are any of us happy in this world? Yeah, right. Love? Been there, done that. Wait, stop. I see everything so clearly now. What a monster I've been. What a terrible monster. I need you to understand. I never meant for any of this to go so far. You see, many years ago, this place used to be... After outsiders began moving in, we left because we were scared. We're not used to people different from us. After I heard the port was opening, I arrived in a crate full of apple juice. I took as many rafts with me as I could fit. We had to take back what was ours. Once we arrived, everyone's being so talkative with us. We had no choice but to hide away down here. What monsters those ground dwellers are. But now I understand. They were trying to be our friends, just like you are now. I think us rafts need to finally have a conversation with the townsfolk. We're not the best at friendship. We could surely give it a shot. Thank you, adventurer. I'll always remember this day. really hoping these guys would just go away after he was defeated see no reason for you all to be here but I'm gonna heal myself as full as possible Just one ref. <clears throat> Get out of 
out of here. This was a good day. Let's see if I can get back to full. I'm really wishing this is the end, but I feel like I'm gonna have to fight the bigger mouses after this one. Hey, bud. Okay, good. We don't have to. You did it, Atlas. You befriended those pesky rafts. Tiny Joe tried to, but maybe his best wasn't good enough. Nobody should get in the way of our friendships. Not even Tiny Joe. Joey. What a long, incredible journey this has been with you. You've befriended so many enemies along the way. I appreciate you enjoying their company, but I hope you remember who made them and who stuck by your side this entire time. Me, in case you forgot. <laughs> I'd be lying if there weren't some characters I could have done more with, like Reginald or Guggen. But if our next adventure, they'll make a return, I promise. There's one thing I don't know what to do with yet. It really put a wrench in my story. Breaking it. Ruining it. But we can take care of it later. Let's just get to the Snoodle Wonker. Where's the Snoodle Wonker? Is he down here? It reads... Slash for secret exit code. Ascent. Yes. This is it. The infamous Snoodle Wonker lives just past the mouth of that cave. Make sure you're prepared for this final fight. He could prove to be tough. I believe in you, Atlas. Now let's go make a friend out of that Snoodle Wonker. And I still don't have a way to kill these guys. This town is a lot nicer than ours. That's boring too. puzzles, don't we? No. Don't we? Hmm. Never puzzles aren't fun, are they? No. Look, this is all I have to work with. All I can do is keep working. All of this work is for you. Thankfully, this puzzle will be long enough to give me additional time to plan some more exciting games for us. So take all the time you need. It's the best lever puzzle yet. <gasps> I 
ignore it. Keep playing with the levers. You pet Milo, pet Lily the cat. You pet Milo the dog, you pet Lily the cat. You pet Lily the cat, you pet Milo, you pet Lily the cat. Buddy Simulator 1984EX was forced to close. Please contact Ethicom Support to troubleshoot this error. Press enter to continue. Message sender ID Ted Atlas, are you there? Yes. Message sender ID Ted, just promised you'll come back, okay? And then my game just closed. I don't even know if you all saw the prompts that popped up, but it was like little error message prompts that uh, told me to do the things that I was reading off. So what I was reading, if you didn't see that, they were error message prompts. But guess what? It's been 54 minutes since we've recorded this, and it looks like this is the end of the video. We've got one more on Thursday. On Halloween itself, we'll come back to Buddy Simulator. Maybe we'll beat it. Maybe it will be the end. Then again, it does seem like the buddy simulator in itself doesn't want it to end. So maybe it'll continue. Maybe it never ends. Maybe the buddy simulator doesn't ever end the game. And it just keeps putting obstacles in the way. This game's getting really interesting. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.